I to talk about repetition, which is oh, yeah. you know uh, all all intertwined with that. But um, talk about the importance of repetition and also how to encourage repetition. So why and then how? Yeah, because actually as adults, if we did a puzzle once we'd be like, okay, finished. And I often see that like a child finishes an activity in my class and then the parent's like, oh, it goes back. And you're like, oh, but just a minute, give them the opportunity to repeat it because then they actually get into that deep concentration because they're working to master it. And the thing they are working to master, they will repeat. Um, and so ways that I like to encourage parents to do that is like, yeah, they might have put all of the coins into the coin box and then instead of, okay, it's all finished, you'd be like, oh, where are the coins? And then we go, and we take out one coin and put it into the thing and just wait and they might actually also take out all the other coins and then they might think that's the end and then say, okay, look, and start again and then they're like, oh, I get to do this again. And so also if you have more than one child in your space, it's also like showing them that we share by taking turns mm -hmm. so that saying, oh, they're still actually working on that or, oh, they're playing with that, whichever language you want to use, um, to remind them that we actually really want to preserve that deep concentration and that's more important really than anything, but also reading their body language, oh, it looks like they're okay for you to also have a turn posting one. So I also don't want to just stomp in because maybe they're actually going to collaborate. So. Right.